What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? Oh, what could it be that's hiding in here for me? What's in the box? What's in the box? Is this a model kit or what's in here for me? What's in the box? What's in the box? How hard is it to put together? Is it made of leather? Hey, what's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Today's episode of What's in the Box was filmed right here at Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Slescu and I am the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. So welcome to another episode of What's in the Box. And this is our final episode of the Games Workshop Age of Sigmar Fire Slayers. Now hopefully you've seen the other videos so you know what's coming up. What I have here in my hands are the heroes of the Fire Slayers. And these are single models, come in little packets. And we will take a look at them in our What's in the Box. And luckily I don't have to open them because the backs are clear. Now, what I didn't tell you is these Fire Slayers are gonna be part of my upcoming addition to my Dwarf Army. And so I don't wanna open these guys because I don't want the parts all over the place because I own these ones. <laughs> but I can order them if you want them. Don't worry about that. Um, anyway, something else. I still have a lot of these white dwarfs in stock. And you can find them on our new website, www.monster-hobbies.ca, the Canadian edition of our website our internet presence, whatever. Merry Christmas, internet presence. <laughs> whatever. Okay, anyway. So, these magazines I still have on the shelf and available on the website, and they pertain, these three issues pertain to our Fire Slayer army. So if you haven't seen the other videos, I suggest you go look at them, because you'll find out which magazines cover which models. Now, these do not cover the heroes. This one. This is issue 102 from January 2016. This is issue 103 from the 16th of January. This one covers the Magma Droth, but this is the one we're interested in. The 23rd January 2016 issue with the Heroes of the Fire Slayers. Now these magazines, I know they're, they're old now, but they do contain some very important things for your army. First off, they give you this gigantic picture of everybody going off to war, and they give you the definitions of the Grimrath Berserker, the Battlesmith, and then it gives you some story here. The other guy should be in here too. Did I miss it? Huh, interesting. Anyway, they have your heroes in there. And then of course, they have a bunch of other stuff. But of key interest, when we get through this, <laughs> do to do is the paint splatter section. These are why these old magazines, although outdated, are still very valuable. Because there they show you how to paint the skin and the hair and all the different things. And they also give you the war scrolls. So if you're looking even if you're not looking to start these guys, at least you can get these old magazines for the War Scrolls. And then it gives you a whole bunch of fun stuff. Warriors of Oath and Gold. Five things we love about Fire Slayers. Very neat old stuff. Yeah, so check out these magazines. How's that for a back cover? Check them out, and they're still available while quantities last. So without further ado, let's go check out these three heroes of the Fire Slayers. The first hero we're going to look at is the Auric Runemaster. Now he's a very cool fellow. So like I say, I don't have to open these ones because you just need to turn them over. And there you can see all the nice detail. And if you can look through, I don't know, 
But there's the instructions way back there on how to put them together. Comes with the round base. And there is his head. Oh yeah, you can see this nicely. And notice the uh, links on his cape. It's pretty cool stuff. So he is the first guy we're looking at. The second guy we're going to look at is the Grimrath Berserker. And you can see on the picture there all the runes in his back. And there he is. Again, comes with the instructions. Don't throw out the whole box until you've built them. <laughs> Single model. Check out the detail on his face there. Very good stuff. And our final guy is the Battlesmith. This is basically like a standard bearer for the army. And there's the banner right there. That's a pretty impressive banner. And of course it's got the instructions on the back using their 3D imagery. There's his... Oh, that's his chest and arm. And there's his face right there. And the amazing axe. It's very impressive models. I recommend if you're starting a Fire Slayer army, make sure you have these three guys. Okay, move them into the camera. <laughs> Get these three guys and your army will be awesome. Well, I hope you enjoyed that episode of What's in the Box with our three Fire Slayer heroes and me in the shadows. Come light, I need light. <laughs> anyway, and here we have a big collection for December coming up of all our star collecting boxes for Age of Sigmar, including Slaves to Darkness. All right, just had a customer walk in, so I had to stop the video for a second. Which brings me up to the next point. We're doing a tournament coming up on December the 10th, 2016. And this is one of those great Age of Sigmar tournaments, and I'll just read you off the sheet here. So, the entry price for this event is free! That's right, there is no entry event. I mean, entry price. <laughs> entry event. We will start at 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. The army size is going to be a thousand points based on the General's Handbook. Number of games we'll have is three. Battle plans we'll use is Kill the Beast on page 141 of the Quest for Galmaraz book. The battle on Loch Riothar Theodar. Rio Theodar. Trials of the Og here, which was a Warhammer World campaign. We're taking one of the events out of there. And that's an interesting one because uh, as you're playing the game on each turn, you roll a dice for all the units that are on there because they're on a frozen lake. So some of the guys in the units can fall into the lake, thus changing the outcome of the game. And then the third one we're doing is Border War on page 131 of the General's Handbook. And the publications you can use are the General's Handbook and all Warhammer Age of Sigmar publications and War Scrolls from Games Workshop, including Black Library, Forge World, the Games Workshop website, and White Dwarf pertaining to your army. Now the schedule... 10 a.m., Monster Hobbies, the doors will open. At 10.30, we'll have a welcome briefing and pair up the, the opponents. 10.45 to 12.15 will be game number one. And from 12.15 to 1.45, we'll have a lunch break. At 1.15 to 2.45, we will begin game two. 2.45 to 3 o'clock will be a break. 3 o'clock to 4.30 will be game three. And then 4.30 to 5 will be the award ceremony, 5 o'clock the event ends, and Monster Hobby closes at 6. Now for prizing, we will have $100 in total for Games Workshop merchandise. So $50 worth of merchandise will be first place. So that would mean that you could come in and look on our shelves and find something if you come in first for 50 bucks, this doesn't look like it's showing up too well, 
This is Empire Greatswords, 4950. So that would be like a first place if you wanted it. Second place is $30 in, in product. So what do I got here? Vampire Count Skeletons. This could could be, if you like it, something there, because this is $29.75, so that's close to $30. You guys see how this is working, right? And then third place will be $20 in product from Games Workshop. I don't know what I have for that. Single figures, probably. So yes, come down, check it out. Will you join the battle? Monster Hobbies, Unit 42B, 11th Avenue, Southeast, in High River, Alberta, Canada. Phone us to reserve your spot. 403-652-5019. And check us out for any updates on Facebook. Monster Hobbies, in High River, Alberta, Canada. As well, you can find those white dwarfs, like I said, on our new website, www.monster-hobbies.com. So we look forward to seeing you at our event, and we hope you like this Fire Slayers edition of What's in the Box. Have a good one, and we'll talk to you later.